This is one of those slides that sometimes I call a deja vu slide because you're like, oh, we already talked about density, Mrs. Snipes. And we said all you need to do is take an object and go ahead for that object, get the mass of that object, and somehow get the volume of that object, and do a division, and twila, you have the density. So density is kind of, for a given volume, how compact it is or how kind of fluffy it is. Uh, very dense or kind of low density. And we use the Greek letter rho. It looks kind of like a P for uh, the symbol for density. Well, we're going to use density. By the way, density, we said, was actually an example of a physical property. And then we also said that it actually is an intensive property. So density, units of density we got were what? Uh, in the lab, we got grams per centimeter cubed for your block. We got units of grams of milliliter, grams per milliliter for your uh, stopper. Now, if you have something like a physical property like this, density, which density is, you can use that as a conversion factor to go back and forth between what the units are. So, for instance, we can go, if we, if we know grams, we can get to centimeters cubed, or if we know centimeters cubed, we can get to grams, just given the density of, of an object. If we know grams of an object and we know its density, we can get to milliliters, if we know milliliters, we know the density, we can get to grams. You see how that works? Use the units to see how we can use that as a conversion factor. I'll, see, I'll show you how this works. So we're going to work a problem. We're just going to jump right in there. So we're dealing with um, a compound of methanol. And the density of methanol at a particular temperature, don't worry about the temperature, but the density is uh, 0.792 grams per milliliter. Now on the next slide and throughout the semester I'm going to try to encourage you whenever you see grams per or when you see something per something go ahead and unpack that if you're going to use it in a problem. So I would say what that means what that density means is that there are 0.792 grams of methanol in exactly one milliliter of methanol. That's what the density means. So all I did was kind of fluff it out or unpack it. Okay, I think that's a critical step for working um, uh, chemistry problems is to make sure that you can do this. All right, so I'm going to show you how we are going to now, um, for number one, if I was going to diagram this, it says what is the mass, so question mark grams of 242 milliliters, okay, for of methanol. For the second one, what is the volume, so question mark volume in milliliters, of 50.0 grams of methanol. So those are the two problems that we're going to work. So this slide kind of unpacks density. So it said 0.792 grams per mil. What does that mean? Well, it means this. It also means, notice what this is, is basically this is what we call the reciprocal. It's the flipped version. Okay, we could say that in one milliliter there's 0.792 grams for methanol. That's great. And we could also what I call kind of flatten it out, flatten out the, the, the ratio. Okay, now it's all about, the factor, using factor label method is all about using units so that cancel and we're left with units we want to be left with. Okay, units cancel, left with units we want to be left with. So here we go. Let's work those two problems. So the first problem, it's always, we always put the number we want to convert. So in this case, it's 242 milliliters to grams. We're trying to convert to grams using density. So now do you see where, I'm going to put this over 1, so my units in the bottom are going to be milliliters and my units in the top are going to be grams. And then I just fill in those numbers. That's it. Okay, don't make it harder than it is. So this is what I call the unflipped version of density. So do you see where just kind of straight up that is your density? Units of milliliters cancel are left with units with grams. So how do we need to round this? Is there uncertainty in this number? Yes, there is uncertainty in that number. It's a major quantity. Is there uncertainty in this number? Yes, it's 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 not by definition, it's just a physical property. Um, so now this actually there's uncertainty in the 0.792 
but there is no uncertainty in the 1 there. So I'm liking what, 3 here, 3 sig figs here, 3 sig figs here, so we need to round our answer according to 3 sig figs. And is this what you got? I got 192 grams. So if you work it this way, you clearly see what units cancel, milliliters cancel, you clearly see what units you're left with. So the next one, the term we want to start with, is the grams, the grams we want to convert. Now, um, just be careful when working problems. I mean, it was no small thing that this person cared enough to go ahead and put the decimal, in fact, put a trailing zero after the decimal. So what, we got three sig figs in this number? We sure do. So if I put this over one and I want to get to milliliters, do you see where I'm going to put units of grams in the bottom, units of milliliters in the top, and then I'm going to go back to my density and fill these numbers in. So this time it looks like this. So we have 0.792 grams in the bottom, so the grams will cancel, one milliliter on top, so we're left with units of milliliters, and life is fine with regard to our units. So again, there's uncertainty here, there's uncertainty here. We actually have, what, three sig figs in both of them. So rounding to three sig figs, this is what I got.